Hey guys, here's a, another installment of Frank's Friendly Cars. I wanted to give you a review of these um, rear uh, member braces. These go in the back of the car and uh, they go between the rear member and the chassis at a diagonal. So um, their purpose is to stab stabilize any uh, uh, torsional uh, movement of the frame and uh, add some torsional stiffness. So um, they're bolted on to the brackets of the lower control arms. Uh, one end goes in the bracket of the uh, camber control arm and the other end goes in the bracket of the um, um, trailing arm or caster control arm. and. Um, uh, they use the same mounting bolts, so the bolt just goes in through this hole, then through the bracket, then through the arm, and then uh, there's a nut on the other side that gets tightened down. So um, when I put these arms on initially, they, I felt uh, a little bit of difference that they made in the stor torsional stability of the rear of the car, and that's something that I wanted very much. It's something that I had found lacking. Um, and felt that uh, there was uh, some improvement needed. So what I'm showing you right now is that uh, these poor things made out of aluminum, thin aluminum stock, um, they tried to do their job, but they just were not up to the task. And you can see that originally these uh, mounting holes for these brackets, they were originally circular, and then just from the applied stresses of driving around and the frame uh, twisting around, going over rough roads and going through turns and all that stuff, these, uh, these holes that were originally uh, round, they became elongated. And uh, this happened on both sides, okay? So, um, and uh, this, this one is really bad, this one it just started to fall apart, literally. You can see that uh, whatever piece is, is in here has just started to fall apart. And um, this is just from the stresses that, the torsional stresses in the chassis of the car that you want to eliminate the torsional deflection using these bars, but these bars are just not up to the task. The good news is they only cost $29 on eBay. So uh, it's not a big waste of money. For me, it was a good $29 spent on learning that I could get what I wanted out of rear bracing, but I just needed to go to something that's more heavy duty than these bars. And I ended up going with um, Tom's, Tom's rear brace, Tom's hardware rear member brace, fantastic piece of equipment. And uh, once I put it on, the car was, uh, went to the next level in terms of ride and handling. So that's it for today. Enjoy.